Okay, so getting back into the speed picking work, remember to split that last exercise in half if you need to. Split this legato in half if you need to. Sometimes it's the best thing to do. Right, here we go at 60. Count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> changing strings here so as you get going faster and faster the left hand muting becomes more and more important because at those fast speeds there's no way to miss that low B string as you're heading up to the uh, to the E string there so really watch that muting technique here we go 60 one two three four <laughs> So this thing here, we got, actually I need to make an adjustment on that. Really, it's not letting me do that, huh? Hold on. Let's do it like that. There we go. All right, so you got all the key C put in there. So yeah, we're just going to be doing movable shapes beginning on the low B, low E, and the A string, not the D string. You could do stuff on the D string, but it's feel more of a pain in the butt than it needs to be. So we just leave that one out. Um, so what you're gonna do is pay attention to what a major shape looks like, what a minor shape looks like, what the diminished shape looks like. So starting on the low B and the low E, they look exactly the same. Starting on the a string though it looks different so we want to make sure you pay attention to how the major minor and diminished look here and then you're going to take those shapes and move them into the next key starting on the low B then the E string then the A string 
And you're going to change keys one last time. Same deal. Start on the low B, low E string, A string. And just label all the chords. Make sure you pay attention to the root notes because when you have those key changes, you'll have to just got to be careful of what has sharp notes and what has flat notes. So, any questions, let me know. And I will see you again next week.